Hi everyone, meteorologist Joel Curtis with your Alaska weather. Starting out uh, at 7.06 p.m. today at Alaska Daylight Time, we've got the vernal or otherwise spring equinox at 7.06. So uh, uh, we're just uh, headed upward on those daylight hours and it's nice to cross the line there. All right. First thing we're going to look at today is a, uh, a preliminary uh, a river breakup. Uh, I got off the screen here so that you can, guys can see. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, everything is rated as near normal for most of the major river systems. Only the Copper River Basin is showing above normal flood potential. So the Yukon, Koyukuk, Kuskokwim, Tanana, Chena, uh, Susitna, and North Slope River systems are all evaluated at near normal flood potential, but folks, stay tuned. It's early in the game. We're still evaluating these things, but that's our preliminary prediction from the Alaska Pacific River Forecast Center. So looking at our hazardous weather, I've got a long list to read here. So uh, we have a blizzard warning for Shishmarif and St. Lawrence Island, uh, Wednesday into Thursday. Winter storm for the western Arctic coast into Wednesday. Winter weather advisory for no attack. Kivalina, Baldwin Peninsula, South Seward, Yukon Delta coastline, and that's all into Wednesday. And then we have an unusual uh, uh, flood advisory for Alaska. Some of the gravel roads are washing out and there's some ponding and minor tidal, minor uh, overflow. So uh, be on the lookout. They've been getting some really heavy rain down there. Okay, now we're looking at some statistics here. So uh, the snowiest winters for Anchorage, Alaska, number one is 134 inches. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's was in 2011 to 2012. We are currently tied at number four with 121.5 inches and uh, not all that far to go to move up. So uh, uh, we'll be watching that to see uh, uh, how snowy this particular winter is going to be. So let's get a look at the satellite. Uh, not much to see on my side over here, but boy, the west sure is getting a big stream of moisture out of the south and uh, uh, lots and lots of moisture in this system, uh, all moving up the west coast and on up into the Arctic. Uh, you can see a secondary system out there by ADAC. And here's the uh, today's surface analysis, about a 980 millibar low out in the central Bering Sea. Uh, quite a slug of warm air out ahead of that. Uh, it was real easy to draw that warm front there uh, going up into the Arctic. Uh, a little bit of cooler air following up, but uh, uh, take a look at this one down by uh, um, south of the Aleutians, uh, 980 millibars, and that has another warm front on it. So uh, we're going to continue to get warm air uh, moving into the area. Uh, 1,030 millibar high out in the Gulf of Alaska, 1,042 up in northwestern Canada, and uh, just a little bit of a, uh, a trough line uh, off the coast of uh, southeast Alaska. That trough uh, persists into tonight, uh, 1042 millibar high up in northwestern Canada, the 1030 highs staying the same. But look at this series of warm fronts moving in uh, tonight uh, into the uh, uh, western part of the state. Uh, more warm air getting pumped up, plenty of uh, lines on the map, which indicates a lot of wind, plenty of precipitation, including some mixed precipitation. Could be rain, could be snow, could be mixed. Uh, also moving into the Bering Sea, uh, and then that secondary system coming up, just indicating more warm air. That same system is now like three different warm fronts uh, moving up into that area. Uh, the wind aloft has become southwest, but these uh, low pressure systems, uh, 988 millibars to, to 992, not very, uh, not very strong at all, really. Uh, the, uh, uh, the high in the uh, south of the Gulf, 1030 millibars, and uh, uh, 1040 up there uh, in northwestern Canada. Well, Thursday, now the warm air is still moving up from the south, 
but we're just seeing to start a little bit cooler air filtering in from the west behind the consolidated low that's 991 millibars uh, override near the Gulf of Anadir. Still plenty of precipitation along the, uh, the west coast all across the Bering Sea. And then uh, the high in the Gulf has weakened to about 1028 millibars. And as you can see, uh, not a whole lot going on in the eastern portion of the state. A little bit of trough line weakening out uh, uh, and uh, some clouds, but uh, also some uh, uh, really nice weather in uh, southeast Alaska. So here's our temperatures for Wednesday morning. Uh, single digits uh, for the lows up on the north slope. Uh, uh, coldest area, probably the Eastern Brooks Range or so. As we get uh, further to the west, warmer. As we get further south, uh, temperatures in the teens. But note uh, uh, some of those readings uh, in southwestern Alaska, even above freezing. So uh, uh, plenty of warm air on that side, uh, 28 in the Privilos, uh, in the 30s out there in the Alaska Peninsula and uh, in the Aleutians, uh, about uh, in the 30s, 25 out in ADAC, which is still in the cold air. But uh, as you get down in south central, uh, uh, some uh, low temperature readings in the 20s. Uh, also in the 20s over in, uh, in the northern part of the southeast. Uh, but uh, look at those temperatures above freezing in the southern part of the panhandle. So uh, uh, pretty warm. Then uh, for Wednesday uh, afternoon, uh, high temperatures uh, in the teens in the uh, uh, north slope in the east. But notice those 20s and even... Uh, um, getting up and uh, just about freezing uh, up there uh, as we get up uh, toward Kotzebue. Uh, also the uh, Seward Peninsula, look at that Nome, 36 degrees, uh, plenty of 30s and even uh, near 40 near Bethel. And then uh, you get further east, uh, uh, also some 40s, Talkeen is showing 40, uh, um, even south central in the 30s and lower 40s. Uh, all 40s along the Alaska Peninsula, 35 for the Privilos, 43 for Kodiak, and then as you get over to southeast Alaska, temperatures also in the 40s and 54 degrees at Ketchikan. Low temperatures uh, uh, Thursday morning, uh, again, uh, single, some single digits uh, up in the, uh, uh, the north, otherwise uh, uh, temperatures near 30 in the, uh, along the west, uh, in the 30s and 20s for southeast Alaska under clear skies. So for our chance uh, for six to 10 day uh, temperature outlook, We've got a, a really strong chance of above normal temperatures for southwestern Alaska, almost the uh, uh, southern two thirds of the state with a pretty good chance of above normal temperatures all the way up to the north slope, which is uh, hovering at normal for precipitation, western half of the, of the state, staying at uh, a, a, a pretty good chance of above normal. Uh, most of the mainland above normal, uh, chance of above normal precipitation, and you get further east around normal, which is their dry time of year, especially for the panhandle. So for our 8 to 14 day, uh, March 27th through uh, April 2nd, the southern half of the state, pretty good chance of above normal temperatures. As you get to the central belt, uh, uh, about normal temperatures, and then for the north slope, below normal temperatures. And for the precip, uh, uh, the southern two-thirds of the state, a uh, slight chance of above normal precipitation. And then uh, for south central and almost over to uh, uh, Cordova or so, uh, uh, a little bit higher chance of above normal precipitation. So that's it for your Alaska weather uh, today on the 19th. And uh, uh, please pay attention to all those warnings that are out there. Uh, dial into your local National Weather Service. Uh, uh, we've got the uh, uh, free 1-800 uh, number. We also have uh, the internet, uh, no other radio. And please stay safe out there.